Hello. Today's demonstration will take a look at rotary motion, specifically torques and moments of inertia. So what we have for you here is a rod with adjustable masses on it, so these masses can be moved back and forth. And in addition to that, we have uh, this connected to a set of disks that have three different tracks on them on which we can connect a string and a hanging mass to set the system into motion. The first thing we'll look at is having the masses close to the center of this rod so you won't see them because they're behind the disk. And we will look at what a hanging mass hanging at three different radii from the center will do to the system. Okay, so here we have a 100 gram mass that we are going to hang on this string that is located at the innermost ring of this circle. Let's watch the motion as it unfolds. Okay, so we can see that the 100 gram mass was able to unravel the system. Now let's look at it at the next location, at the next radius out. Okay, so we have the hanging mass now, the same 100 grams, set up for the exact same system, except that now it's further out. So this mass or this weight can generate a greater torque because it's at a larger lever arm. Let's watch that. Finally, we have the exact same mass hanging now at the outermost radius, or the largest lever arm. Let's watch that motion. So as you can see from looking at this, each time the 100 gram mass is able to get the system moving, but with the larger lever arm, it's able to get the system moving much faster than it would have if it had been at a smaller radius. Now, let's take a look at this system if we've changed the rotational inertia of the system. Now the masses are located far out at either end, moving the moment of inertia or increasing the moment of inertia because we've moved the mass to the outside of the circle it will rotate through. Let's use the same 100 gram mass at the innermost radius and see what happens. As you can see, this mass is unable to get this inertia rotating. Let's try a higher mass. This is 500 grams. You can see with 500 grams, we are able to get the system moving. Why were we not able to get it moving with the smaller mass? Even though the mass of this overall system hasn't changed, we've changed the rotational inertia by moving these weights to the outside. So the hanging mass, while it was able to generate enough torque before to move the system when the masses were close to the middle, the masses are now difficult to rotate because they are far from the axis of rotation. Thank you.